I'm here with Mike Vale from Water Legacy in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> He's going to show me a gray water reuse system for homes. I got to start with Mike. What is gray water? Gray water is what is typically referred to as used water uh, in a home or a building that hasn't come in contact with any organic matter or sewage, like your bathing water from your showers and tubs or your uh, sink water from your bathrooms. Okay. okay. Uh, that's primarily what is considered gray water. And you're saying we can reuse that now? Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, tell me a little bit more about reusing it, number one, and why. Are we starting to reuse gray water? So let's just start with the system itself and how it works. Well, the system itself, the way it works is, as you can see here, it's about the size of a hot water heater. It's a totally packaged system. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you have your normal drain lines, except we've taken and separated the ones from our gray water sources, such as our uh, bathroom showers and tubs. It comes down. It enters the tank here. It goes through a filter. It ends up in storage in the tank here. While sitting here in the tank, uh, timer and control valves recirculate that water and disinfect it and keep it in storage, in this particular case, to flush the toilet. So when a toilet is flushed in this home, these are the supply lines to the different toilets. The water is then supplied to the toilets for flushing. So theoretically, in this home and in all homes that these were, are installed in, you would never, ever use fresh water to flush a toilet. Well, why, is that, why is that an issue? It's an issue because, you know, globally, let alone in the states here, we're only a few years away from having very serious water shortage issues uh, in, in at least 36 states in, in this country. We already have had them for a number of years in the southwest U.S. Yeah. So we're looking for new innovative ways to start conserving water, and one of the ways to do it is to quit using drinking water to flush our toilets. For example, the average home... How much water is used in an average home over a year to flush toilets? Uh, depending on the size of the family, anywhere on the low side from 12,000 gallons to upwards of uh, 24,000 gallons a year is flushed down a toilet alone. So you're saying by reusing this, you could literally not use 12 to 24,000 gallons a year? Yes, absolutely. Okay, interesting. Yep. All right, can you show me a little bit more about how the system works? Yes. Okay, so... Once again, the water comes down the drain lines from the gray water sources. It enters into the tank through here. Going into the tank is a filter. It filters out all the lint, hair, the large particles and stuff, ends up down here in storage in the water. Then we have the disinfecting system and timer. This timer is set to turn the system on uh, four times a day, 30 minutes at a time. So we run it through the UV, and then also, in addition to give a multi-barrier disinfection event, this pump here is what's called a peristaltic pump that pumps in 35% uh, grade hydrogen peroxide into the system, okay, to give ad added residual uh, antibacterial effects to water when it's in the toilets so that nothing can regrow when it has reached the toilets itself. Mike, is it safe to say that as water shortages become more prevalent, will we be seeing more of these in homes? Oh, absolutely, especially because the plumbing industry feels that they've made all of their fixtures work as efficiently as they can. They, if they start making them work on less water, they won't work. So the only way left to conserve water in this home is through reuse. So really, we've got low-flow toilets, faucets, and water reuse now systems. Now we have reuse systems that will eventually be the way we add added water conservation to the world. Wonderful. Okay.